And joining Austin Business Report right now is Commercial Planning Manager Global for Thai Oil Public Company, Kun Tho Sang Chai Prawat. Good afternoon, Kap Kun Tho Sang. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีค่ะคุณองค์นันคุณนัทกรค่ะครับผมคุณทอแสงครับ What is the local oil prices uh, movement this week? Um, last night, the global crude oil price dropped over one dollar and fifty cents a barrel, erasing the prices gain on Friday. Upon market worries that EU is struggling to tame its debt crisis, mm -hmm. the outlook for oil prices this week is is neutral to bearish, as euro debt problem is still weighting down on market sentiment. In addition, the news of lower U.S. heating oil demand during winter this year, reported by the National Weather Service, will also pressure down diesel prices. Given such the bearish trend, we could expect to see further reduction of the local diesel prices this week, mm. and possibly the gasoline prices. After marketing margin of retail station currently around 1.8 baht per liter, which is still above the required level of 1.5 baht per liter. Okay, Kun Tao Sang, coming locally to Thailand, the sales of pickup trucks seems to be popular in the coming uh, session because of the post-flood situation has prompted a lot of people to uh, prepare themselves to fight the floods that uh, may come in the future. So how would this affect the oil price or people would tend to use the gas-powered engines? Um, Thailand expects oil demand for all products to increase uh, during December, okay. uh, mainly from the year end traveling, as people haven't been anywhere for two months. Okay. And That's going right. to yeah, and going to next year, uh, the demand will come from the after flood reconstruction. So a shift to cheaper gas um, engine will highly depend on the relative price of diesel and uh, NGV. Currently, is the um, NGV price is half of diesel price, mm. um, with, but with its limited stations uh, and relatively low diesel prices currently, people still prefer to use diesel, so we expect to see higher diesel demand next year. However, if uh, one, one uh, key factor to monitor is the government decision to reinstate the 5 baht excise tax to mm -hmm. diesel price. So if uh, if that happened, diesel prices would increase uh, significantly, and that could incentivize people to shift to gas engine. Kun mm -hmm. Sang, and about the eurozone debt crisis, now that Standard and Poor's last week put the nations on credit watch, and they might be downgrading the euro nations that because on the euro summit last week there was no substantial evidence of improvements. Do you think the likelihood of the eurozone downgrade uh, by the credit ratings agency? will affect oil price a lot? Yes, um, the risk of the eurozone downgrade will definitely be bearish for oil prices. Mm -hmm. uh, for oil price, there are two sizes of force. Um, on the demand side, global oil demand growth is at risk, especially from the EU debt problem and also the US unemployment problem. Mm -hmm. However, on the supply side, we have heard about the Elan's oil sanction as a result of its nuclear development mm -hmm. and together with the OPEC's need for high oil price for budgeting purpose as a result of the unrest in the region. So in terms of the supply side, it will be a supporting factor for oil, for oil prices. Um, given those two factors, we are likely to see oil prices range bound around $100 a barrel going to next year. Okay, I see. So what are the prospects for the short and long term for oil prices and what is your strategy for investing in oil? Um, in terms of the short term prospect, we still see uh, oil prices going into the neutral and bearish zone with the biggest factor to watch being the euro debt problem. However, the long-term prospect for oil is more bullish, with the limited crude oil supply sources and higher demand from growing world population. So for investment, um, if you're looking for a short-term investment, the likelihood for oil prices is uh, more bearish. But if you are investing for long-term, definitely oil price is likely to increase over the next uh, two to three years. Oh, thank you very much, Kun Tho Sang, uh, for sharing with us today. Okay. Bye-bye.